Alright guys, today we're actually doing a very different video for you guys on the channel. We're actually looking at our top drinks and our top snacks for you guys to be eating and drinking when you're either playing video games or when you're playing board games with your friends. Let's go ahead and find out what those are. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, so we're here to talk about these snacks here that we have and some drinks that we have here on the side. Um... For you guys to be, you know, interested in when you're actually playing board games and playing video games, things that are easy to eat, uh, not a huge mess and stuff like that, especially when you're playing board games and you don't want, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, grease or stuff or, or like Cheetos and stuff like that, which is obviously not going to be included here um, to mess up your cards and stuff like that. There's a there's only like one or two in here that I probably wouldn't use for board games, but I use them more for playing video games because they're a little bit um, easier to clean and stuff like that. But for the most part. All of these can be used for both, um, and they're really, really good snacks to have around for your friends and stuff like that to, you know, have when you're playing board games and stuff with your friends or even video games. So, let's get right into this video. So, you can see here we have like a little carousel thing, which is pretty cool, so you can spin this around and actually have this sitting over there by the board game area um, for the snack area. So, anyway, let's go ahead and start at the top here. So, we're going to start with um, these Captain Wafers cookies. Uh, these they're filled with cream cheese and chives. We actually have also with cream cheese as well. I'm uh, sorry not cream cheese grilled cheese These are awesome awesome crackers. I love these crackers um, They come in like different packs and stuff like that. You can get all cream cheese and chive if you want uh, Which I started doing because they're really really good or you can get these in like a three pack Which come with these two and also peanut butter as well. These things are freaking great. Uh, I love those crackers uh, For me to snack on or to have with other people and stuff like that uh, great snack Moving right along here, we also have Kit Kats. Uh, I'm actually not a big fan of chocolate. Uh, I don't usually eat anything chocolate radio related. I actually have this here either, it's either going to be because of my wife or it's because of the people who come over that I know like Kit Kats. And this is uh, definitely because a lot of people who come over obviously love Kit Kats. Kit Kats are really popular, so, and it fit right in here in the slot pretty perfectly. The next one we have here is actually Reese's, piece, uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Uh, I actually would eat these. Um, I got these in a pack of two because it's perfect because I couldn't eat more than two of these. Uh, sometimes with me and chocolate, if I do like a certain kind of chocolate like Reese's, I still get bored of them after like uh, after like having one or two of them. So this is a perfect thing. And I know um, a couple of the people that I know who come over love Reese's. So those are there too. The next thing we have here is actually high chew. And this is definitely for other people. And I'm really disappointed in these. And this is why. Um, Haichu is a really popular candy from Japan, and it's basically like the Starburst version of Japan, in Japan. Uh, the problem is, is that a couple of months ago, they used to have it, not anymore, I guess, because it's been a while. It used to say that it's a new flavor, and they basically changed how these actually taste like. And, um, even though it's still strawberry, they just changed the way the strawberry actually tastes and stuff. They don't taste good to me anymore. Um, but that's just me. That's my personal opinion. They just change the taste, and I don't really like them. But uh, I'm sure a lot of people still do because this candy is really, really popular. They sell these now uh, in a lot of places. It used to just be hard to find because uh, they're not, they weren't sold in the U.S., but they are now. And, uh, yeah, so check these out. If you're a fan of, like, Star Wars and stuff and you want to try something new, this is a, a good one to have. They come in, like, ten, 10 pieces in here just like Star Wars do. Next thing we have here on the list, uh, I, I was happy to find these because these things are really popular with people, and I'm sure you guys know. These are uh, Snyder's uh, pretzel pieces. And uh, the honey mustard and onion, and this one is cheddar cheese. I didn't even know they made cheddar cheese, so I'm just interested to try this one out. But the honey mustard and onion is obviously really popular. Usually people get the big bags and stuff, and they really go ham on these. These are, at least around my friends, everyone loves these things, and, and my wife loves these things as well. So, and so do I. Um, so these are, are two good snacks here uh, for pretzels. Those are really nice. The next thing we have on here, uh, you can't have a bunch of snacks here without some fruit snacks. And I'm a big uh, favorite red person. So like uh, red Starburst, you know, red candy, all of that stuff. I I'm a big fan of like the strawberry flavor. So of course we have berries and cherries. Uh, this is all red and all purple. These are freaking great. Uh, Welch uh, berries and cherry fruit snacks. I love these things. Um, really good snack for a variety of reasons. Next thing we have here is Pixie Sticks. Who can forget about Pixie Sticks if you need a little dose of sugar while you're trying to stay up at night playing a board game or playing a video game. These Pixie Sticks will definitely do the job. And uh, these are great to have around. 
The next thing we have here is uh, Slim Jims. Who can forget about Slim Jims? These things have been popular for so long. I know some people hate them and other people love them. I like these. These are the original um, Slim Jims, and, and they're the perfect size to, like, you know, have for, you know, to give to a lot of people when they can have them come over. Uh, can't have, a, of course, uh, a selection of snacks without some peanuts, and I can't... I can't be the only one that thinks that honey roasted peanuts are like the best peanuts out there. Um, especially the Planters brand. These honey roasted peanuts are great. Um, I think they're all honey roasted in here. Yeah. So these are all honey roasted peanuts and these things are great. Perfect size and they're cheap too. They're 50 cents a bag. So. Next thing we have here is actually Animal Crackers. This is actually the Target brand. And um, I did find the actual original. These are actually really good. Especially compared to the original. They're not that far off but if you guys remember the ones that we used to have as kids that come in like the actual uh big cardboard uh box for the animal crackers like those are the ones that i was thinking about but then i found these and these are obviously easier to just stick in here because they come in little bags and stuff as opposed to those that obviously would have to be on the bottom and they would look a little bit out of place so that's why i skipped on those and got got this brand and they taste really good we have another kit kat one in there uh, the next thing we have in here, I told you guys I'm not really a big fan of chocolate, and this is one I don't even eat at all. Uh, not even one or two of them, even though I've tried so many times because it's so popular, and of course that's Chips Ahoy. Gotta have Chips Ahoy because almost everybody but me likes these things, so gotta have those around. And then we have Oreos. Uh, this is one I do eat. Uh, I like to have a few of these, so this is a perfect size for me. I can't eat like 20 like other people probably can, but um, these are these are great snacks. Um and obviously universally loved by almost everyone. So, um, we go to the bottom here. Uh, let's start over with the Funyuns here. Who can forget about Funyuns? These things are great. Uh, great snacks, great things to share with people too. Uh, I love Funyuns. Can't go wrong with these. Then we got some Doritos. Gotta love Cool Ranch Doritos. I love the blue ones, especially because they're a lot less messier than the red ones, especially when you're doing board games and stuff. These are easier. Then, uh, then the red ones, the, the red ones obviously leave all the finger stuff, uh, the things on your finger, so those are easier to eat, uh, for playing board games and video games. Going on with that theme, we got some regular pretzels here. I love these because they come in their own little package, so it's easy to share with your friends, and they come, it's like little sticks and stuff, so easy to share. So I really like these. Uh, comes with a few in each box, not bad at all. Moving on with the pretzel theme, we also got some combos. Of course, we have the, uh, Pizza stuff ones, and then we got the uh, cheddar cheese stuff ones. You can't forget about combos. These things are great. I've loved combos for so long. And then, of course, we have goldfish. Universally great snack. Uh, these are also awesome, awesome. They don't mess up with your hands. Easy to eat. Come with a, a bunch in a box or a pack, so these are really good. Also, obviously, come in all different kind of flavors as well, but I like the regular cheddar. Now these things I've actually been obsessed with recently because I recently found uh, found these and I've only had these for the first time a couple of weeks ago. Maybe I had them when I was a kid, but Teddy Grahams and Nabisco brand honey, honey Teddy Grahams. These things, I'm obsessed with this thing. I eat, I eat these every day. Luckily they come in a pack of 12, but this is like my go-to snack right now when I'm playing video games and stuff and uh, I'm obsessed with these things and also great uh, for board games and stuff. No mess at all. So, those are the current snacks that I have on here. The only honorable mention that isn't in here that I usually do snack on with video games as well, but isn't on the shelf here with the board games because they don't make it in little packets like this, is wheat things. Uh, those things are the perfect snack to snack on when you're playing board, um, board, uh, board games or video games and stuff. Like I said, they just don't fit on this thing because they only make them in like the regular size boxes. So, they're obviously upstairs in our pantry. This is only snacks that can easily fit in here and, and we share with people and stuff like that. So... Um, so those are the snacks. So of course, let's get into the drinks that we want to have around here. Um, can't forget about the regular water, of course. Uh, many people like water, so you can't forget about that. And then we got some iced tea. Can't forget about iced tea. I love iced tea. I especially love brisk iced tea, but I also like homemade iced tea as well. And, um, that one's good. And of course, anybody who knows me loves, knows that I love orange soda, even though I can't have a lot of it anymore. So I try to stick to it, uh, once a week or something like that. Because I can't have a lot of it. But man, I love orange soda. And especially the Crush brand. I'm not a big fan of Fanta. But Crush um, and even Sunkist are you know, my favorite drink. I would drink this every day if I could. But I can't. So um, love that. Something I do drink almost every day that is amazing. Uh, that you guys probably know of when we were kids. Is Capri Sun. They make these in all kinds of flavors. But of course sticking to my red theme. Fruit Punch. 
uh, Capri Sun. These things are freaking great. They're just as good. Uh, if you, you can put these things in the freezer and then they're like a little slushy mix, uh, they taste even better from the freezer. Um, if you want to put them in there for a little while, these things are great. Uh, problem is you always need to have like two of these cause you, you drink these in like, you could drink this in like one or two slurps and you're already gone. So when I have dinner, I need to have at least two of these cause they're, they're just not enough when you only have one. Now, the last drink that we have on here is a special drink only because I only found out about this drink for two weeks. And if you guys have seen my gaming setup video and stuff like that, that um, I have a snow cone machine over there. Uh, I love the snow cone machine, but I've always been looking out for an icing machine. And they just don't make like icing machines for the home. It's impossible to find. They don't make them. I've looked for so long. The only thing that they make is like the official like $1,500 or $2,000 one that like they sell for like movie theaters and stuff. Um... They sell those, but they're a pain, pain to clean. It's not something you can just come down here and, hey, I want to make one icy today, and then you only are going to make it for yourself. It's got to be something you're going to have for a party with, like, 30 people so because it's a pain to clean. Um, so, and obviously really expensive, not something I want to waste that much money on. Um, so, two weeks ago on Amazon, I was browsing through. I found this little guy, and I didn't even know they made this, and I didn't even know this was such thing. But this is called Icy Slush, which is actually made from the same people who made, uh, from Slush Push. These things, I was real skeptical about these things when I first saw them on Amazon because I saw them on Amazon. Originally, I thought it was just like an actual drink, like it tastes like an icy, but it was like a you know liquid drink. And I was like, eh, that's a, I might try that, see if it's all right, but it's obviously not going to be a slushy. But then I started reading people's comments on there and people's reviews, and they were like, no, this is the real deal. You literally put it in your freezer and it becomes slush, and it tastes just like an icy. And I was like, all right, let me try these and see what it is. Man, I've been obsessed with these ever since. These things are freaking great. I don't think a lot of you guys even know these things exist because they don't sell them in stores as far as I know. If anybody knows that they sell them in a certain store, let me know down below. I haven't found them anywhere. I've only, I've only seen these on Amazon. And they taste literally just like an Icy. If I put these in a, in a cup and gave them to people, they wouldn't know what the difference is. It would taste just like a, slur or like a slurpee that you get from 7-Eleven and stuff. And these are great, great things to have for board games and for video games because they sit straight up, up until the end. They don't fall over. Even when there's only a little bit left, they stand up straight. They got this little cap on the end so you can reseal it. And it's just great. You get these. I got these in the mail. It took four hours or so to freeze. And then you take them out and you just start like pushing them up. You push them up to get them up here. And it's just great. It tastes just like an icy. And these are my go-to things right now. These things are freaking great. Um, can't say more good things about these. Check these out if you're a fan of ICs because... Like I said, I don't think a lot of people know about these things. I can't wait to have my friends try these when they come over. They haven't all come over yet. And I think who, people who love ices are going to be obsessed with these things when I show it to them. So that's it, guys. Those are our top video game and board game snacks and drinks that I currently have in the house. If there's something that I may have missed that you guys are have your go-to snacks that you have for video games or when you play board games and stuff, of course, leave them down below. Let me check them out. Maybe I missed some things out there that I haven't you know, heard of or maybe just haven't crossed my mind yet that I can add to this pile. So definitely let me know in the comments below what your guys' favorite snacks are. I appreciate everybody for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Until next time, thanks again. Tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming techie, gaming tech. Eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech.